Hi everyone. In this video we're going to start working more with mathematical functions. And it's going to be the basis of what we do in some of the next videos as we start working with random numbers and animation. I already have a project open up here where we're going to work with rounding functions um, that you can use with decimal numbers using the math, math class. So let's go into the demo and I'll show you how some of these work. As you see here I have a creative variable here called num. It's, a, it's just a basic number which means it can be an, a whole number or it could be a decimal number like 5.214. What we're going to do is we're actually going to apply three different ways of rounding or stripping away the decimal portion of the number. Now a lot of you might be familiar with just basic rounding. If it's 0.5 or higher you round up. If it's lower than 0.5 you round down. In ActionScript there are actually three different ways to do this. I'm going to show you each one of those. The first one is called floor. If you look here, I have a, I've defined the number variable to be 5.8. So it has a decimal value of 0.8. Using, using the floor function, it's going to strip away the decimal itself. So I'm going to comment out these lines here to help show what I'm going to do here. I'm going to run this. So as you see in the output panel, it just shows the number 5. That's because floor just takes the decimal itself and just like cuts it off. It doesn't matter what the decimal value is. I could make this number here be 5.99999, which in essence is 6, but it still strips away the 0.99999, so it's still only 5. So floor just takes the decimal value and just removes it entirely from the number. So let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at another one called ceiling. Ceiling actually, does, um, so ceiling actually does the exact opposite, where if I have any decimal number, it's going to always bump the number up to the next whole number. So let me uh, comment out my floor lines here and show you the ceiling lines. So in this case, I've given the, the value num a value of 5.2. With seal, if I run this, you'll notice that it becomes 6. That's because, because this has some decimal value, it's always going to bump it up to the next whole number. So I could make this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And even though that's, in essence, again, 5, if I run this again, it will bump it up to 6. The only way that ceiling will not change the, the whole number portion of your, of your number is if you have no decimal at all. So that's the ceiling version of rounding. The one that we're all mostly familiar with is traditional rounding, and that you'd use the math, you use the math round function. I'm going to uncomment these two lines to show you how that works. Math round does, the, does exactly what I said. If I had 0.5 or higher, it rounds up to the next whole number. If it's lower than 0.5, it rounds down. So as you can see, 5.5 rounds up to 6. If I modify this and change this to 4.9, it rounds down to 5. So those are the three methods. I want to just quickly show you how you actually use these in ActionScript. It's all the same. You just have to substitute one word for the other. So if you look at all the examples here, I have uh, used all three examples on lines 7, 11, and 15. When you use these rounding functions, you're going to use them as a method of the math class. Basically, all that means is that you need to use the word math with a capital M followed by a period, and then the type of rounding function you're going to use. In this case, floor, seal, C-E-I-L for ceiling, and round. You then are going to have a set of parentheses. Inside those parentheses, you put in the actual value or variable that you want to apply the rounding function to. In this case, I'm outputting these to the trace, uh, to the trace statement, meaning that they go to the output panel. But I could also assign these values to a variable and then, and then carry them forward. So that's the basics of how to work with whole numbers based on, uh, based on decimal numbers in ActionScript. In the next video, we're going to start working with random numbers, and we'll show you how you actually use these math functions to be able to generate random numbers for your applications.